table statistics. Lagos and River States come tops in the ranking of the most litigious states in the country. What this implies is that all the facilities, manpower, financial, and allied materials are perennially stretched. That vividly underscores the enormity of work judicial officers in these two states are inundated with on the regular basis. Like Abraham Harold Mostel, a renowned American psychologist and behaviorist, had said, a good shelter, a good car, a good welfare package, and of course, a conducive work environment by way of conducive office accommodation are those basic incentives that could remarkably serve as the magic wand to bring out the genesis in human beings for optimum performance. Today, you have graciously fulfilled the befitting office accommodation need of the Federal Judicial Service Commission, a federal agency that ordinarily has no direct bearing with River State. This act of magnanimity and Karamadari has not only marked you out as a man of inestimable honor, but as a quintessential statesman whose imprints on the sands of time will remain indelible. A judicial officer without a roof over his head can never be in the right frame of mind to adjudicate. What this implies is that whatever we deliberately or inadvertently toy with the welfare of our judicial officers we are consciously inflicting a devastating scar on the psyche of our nation. We are not ignorant of our administration's huge investment in the infrastructure of the federal judiciary in the state. On Thursday, the third, December, the third day of September 2020, my predecessor in office was here in River State to commission the highly exquisite residential estate for judges of River State High Court and justices of the Court of Appeal, Portaco Division, which was constructed by Your Excellency. In the same vein, on Thursday, the 3rd of June, 2021, my predecessor was here again to inaugurate the National Industrial Court's quarters. Just last Friday, the 18th of uh, November, 2022, the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces was ably represented by the Honorable Attorney General and Minister of Justice to commission the ultra-modern Nabu Graham Douglas Portacot campus of the Nigerian Law School that was single-handedly conceptualized and built by your administration within one year. Today, also, we go down on the positive side of our national history. That I, Unukayo de Ariwola, the current Chief Justice of Nigeria, was here equally to inaugurate one of the several projects constructed by the Wiki administration for the use, comfort, and convenience of the federal judiciary. These astounding efforts can never go unnoticed and unmentioned we sincerely appreciate Your Excellency's inestimable gestures and urge other state governors to take a cue from you because good deeds have to be publicly acknowledged and publicly adopted as well. At this level of our national development, we should begin to emulate good things that will usher in a new dawn of progressive growth. This is, no doubt, a bold step worthy of commendation and emulation. You are one of the few governors who had pledged to give judges owner-occupier residences so that when they eventually retire, they will get a lifetime accommodation. Today, that pledge has not only been fulfilled, but has formed part of our history. Your effort will tremendously improve the service delivery and comfort 
of our judicial officers. We shall continuously serve all the great honor you have done to our brother Justice, Honorable Justice Mary Okago Peter Odili, CFR, GSC, retired today. infectious humility, and of course, enviable panache. She rose from the lowest rung of the judiciary magistracy to the very pinnacle to become a justice of the Supreme Court of Nigeria and eventually retired from the exalted position of second in command at the apex court. His lordship has emerged as one of the very few proverbial provers who are not only honored abroad, but equally so honored and embezzled at home with an enduring immortalization. The Justice Mary Odile Judicial Institute will definitely remain a major reference point in the training and retraining of judicial officers and administrators in Nigeria and beyond. Ideally, the judiciary being the third arm of government deserves more than it is currently getting. However, the good example emanating from River State should be a model to be adopted and replicated across the country. I strongly condemn a situation, and I have said it over again, where chief judges will go to their governor's camp in hand to solicit for funds to run the judiciary. Nigeria has it all, has all it takes to be a pace setter in Africa. I believe the time has come for us to begin to occupy the pride of place that is rightfully ours on the continent. The rivers formula is a good antidote to the age-long infrastructure deficit in the judiciary. Your Excellency has, by this unique gesture, demonstrated that public service has no limitation or encumbrance whatsoever. It's all about individuals' mindset. The judiciary under my watch will always uphold the rule of law, supremacy of the Constitution, and of course, strict adherence to all binding court's orders. The court exists to protect the rights of all citizens against any form of oppression, suppression, or repression by anybody in whatever position. We, the judicial officers, are ready and ever willing to defend these rights, not minding who is involved. To the glory of the Almighty God, I, Unuka Ode Ariwola, GCON, the Chief Justice of Nigeria, hereby now, on this fateful Friday, the 25th day of November 2022, commission this magnificent edifices built by Wiki administration to accommodate the Federal Judicial Service Commission and the newly rechristened Justice Mary Odili Judicial Institute. I thank you all very much. May God bless you. is a major work that uh, the Honorable Chief Justice of Nigeria here is to carry out, and that is the commissioning of the Federal Judicial Service Commission Liaison Office and Justice Mary 